There's a backwards or a fan window. This car in 1914. This is one of the sets of R62As where there's six singles hooked up to, uh, to a set of five cars. There are a lot of these, on the fl uh, for flesh, several of them on the flushing line now. And it seems that most of the single sets are facing Main Street. And that's before. this is a back uh, rear or uh, backwards rear fan window video. I got I caught a rear fan window. We trained with a rear fan window earlier. Not just before. And here you can see everything backwards, the back of the train, which should be interesting. Currently, the going 50 miles per hour because they're the smaller cabs. I can I can actually see the speed. Approaching Main Street on the local track. Marsh. There is Flushing Creek. And right now we're passing over the Flushing Creek. And the Van Wyck uh, Oh, actually, now over here is the Whetstone. And we're in where the uh, the old Whetstone branch of Longer used to be. Now we're at 29 miles per hour. And the next stop is Mets Wilds Point. And here's Wilds Point to our left. And now it's 31 miles. 32. So those are starting And to our right, and here's uh, like a portion of the platform that Mets Wilds Point, which isn't used. I don't know why it's here. I don't know why it was built. And to, the right, and to our right, right now. And then you can see the gates. To our right is the Stacy Stingle, Bus Eagle, and Corona Yard. And here is the key. Stop. Stop. You get a window for all to yourself. I love those windows. You also get them on the R68. Yeah, that, that right there is the train, the uh, 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 seven express train that just comes at Whitman's Woods Point and discharges passengers. It's the last stop on the train. Uh, so you can see that a lot of people are just on the platform and with an empty train. They're waiting for the next Main Street bound seven train. Okay. Now the express track goes to a high, to a higher group goes higher. There's an express train, where those passengers at Main uh, Wills Point will go will go on to. And right next to us is a track from Metz Wills Point. And and here comes the yard leads from Corona Yard. And right now we're passing over the Grand Central. Okay, and then the other local track is coming down to the same grade as this, this track. Now we're now we're pulling it in a hundred to a hundred eleven street. And there are five tracks that are stationed, four in lower level, two yard leads, two local tracks, and then the express track right above. And um, the express track goes here to a hundred above to hundred third, and you get pretty good views of Queens. Especially nice when you get a rail fan window. Yeah. We're pulling out of 111th. The yard leads will will will, will end short. We'll have a crossover, and then then they'll they'll end they'll end shortly. And then the express track will come down to grade. Then it's back to the normal arrangement. There's three tracks. 
The next stop will be 103rd Corona Plaza. There's the bum block. And there's another express train up there. And our 60 train, our 62 A's. Residential. Some businesses. It's empty plot land, and here's some like new R188s like in the 7800s, just on the local track. Next, we're going to 111. Yeah. Next stop is Junction Boulevard and Express Stop. Motor since we have to, but there's no route. Yeah, and the flushing line, the express service is only in the peak direction and it's PM rush hour. So, the so express trains are going towards Main Street. It's really great then. That, like, um, when the flushing line was built, it was originally called the Queensboro Line. Or, excuse me, the Corona Line. The, it was, they were just building up through cornfields. So it was just great they even anticipated three tracks because then they nearly anticipate all the growth. It would have been amazing if they, if they had been four tracks. They could have true express, yeah, full time express, and that was really re uh, relieve the crowds on Flushing Line. My proposals, what I would do is, and I would have a Northern Boulevard line parallel, paralleling it, going to Flushing Main Street, or, or maybe just Milk World One, to relieve crowding. And go via Northern Boulevard, and then go via. Uh, this is Junction Boulevard. Um, then there are two island platforms here, and then I would have that Junction Boulevard line. Like, excuse me. Um, I would have the line go Northern Boulevard, and then down Broadway with the Queens Boulevard line briefly, and then it would go. And then it would go across. It go across to 86th Street Manhattan, cross down, and then it would go down 10th Avenue, and then go back to the 14th Street line. There's some graffiti on the right. The next stop on this train will be 90. Since I'm getting off at some 4th Broadway, I can only take this video to there. And there's the elevator. And there's a, a train of uh, converted R188 7316 to and so on other cars. Go like approaching Junction Boulevard. And here's an express train consisting on one eight. It's going pretty quickly. I think it's converted R188. Formerly R142A is on the sixth line. And return the R sixty two A's such as these are being sent to the sixth line. And in the process, like um, some singles are being looked up. Some, uh, only one set, I think, so far has been. And they're making the cabs full cabs, so that's why these rail fan windows are rare in there. I'm not sure how many how many non-single cars have rail rail fan rail fan window. Uh, um, as far as I know, uh, it's like most of the rail fan windows are singles. Stop. Next stop is 82nd, Jackson Heights. Between uh, As you can see at the end, there's a lot, there's rust at the end that needs to be replaced or painted. CBTC is going to be is being installed and will be coming in a few years. There's a lot of service changes to install. That should really help service on the seven line. And it'll like adding more trains during rush hour and other part points of the day um, for trains to go closer together. And also, oh here's a train bar 62A is 20080 to 2076. Here's a single 1943 and then 2035 to 2031. Okay. Next stop, Fran. Right. Next, uh, next stop. 
Yeah, and, it's, and, it's still, and it was supposed to open in December 2013, even before that, but the line just, just went up to 44th Street, Hudson Yards, hasn't been completely finished yet. The station's complete, but there's a problem with elevators and other things, and it's just gets to be completely knocked over, which is crazy. Hopefully that will lead to the trouble from the terminal at Times Square. And in a few years ago, they, they moved across the between between 61st Street and 69th, between 74th and 82nd, so that if need be, like for service changes or possible for, for a future service, 74th Street Broadway can be used as an express stop. Okay, the next stop is 74th Street Broadway, transfer to the EFMNR. And that's where we're getting up front, go to the door. Please. And there's another train of R 188 converted cars on the express track. And here's the switches I mentioned. And I need to come off.